other one. Oh, on the other one? Yeah. I just noticed it. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thank you. It's Wednesday, and um, we are going to go over some, what is it, Bishop F4? Yeah. With Queen's Gambit Decline? Last time we looked at the Queen's Gambit Decline, we looked at some exchange variation, and we looked at, like, the mainline Tartakower. Mm -hmm. But we didn't talk about Bishop F4. I mean, we analyzed it when we looked at, like, variations, mm -hmm. but we didn't look at any games. So okay. I thought I would show some games about it. Okay, definitely. That sounds good. Um, we were just looking at Pog, Pog Champs. Champs. <laughs> I love the chat. <laughs> yeah, we were just looking at that for a minute um, before we started, and um, lots of um, spamming. It's all spamming. But man, that's a lot of viewers, 70 something thousand. Right, and also a lot of people are just watching the streamers themselves and not, you know, so it's more people really watching. Like some people are watching XQC. Well, and XQC I don't think is playing today, but I could be wrong. Oh, oh, oh well, some could... people are watching like the other guy, right? Like, um, uh, what was, I forgot his name already. Not Pac-Man. Yeah, Grippix. Yeah, possibly. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Luki Pookie. JJ Wad. Trying not to learn. Trying not to learn. Luki Pookie. Saved play and Bishop takes. Got them all. <laughs> yes, nice. Nailed it. <laughs> if this was PogChat, we wouldn't even be able to see this. <laughs> it would just be too many robot <laughs> robot emotes. Yeah, we were stuff. just talking about the PogChamps. Man, that's like 70,000 people over. Hey, Christopher James and... XQC, I don't believe, is even playing today. He's playing some other game. He's got 40,000. So they, so we can't even say it's all his viewers. Mm -hmm. I've never seen so many people watching chess. Um, and I am going to say, in spite of all the negative things that can be said, that's still pretty darn good, man. Definitely. That's definitely, it can't be bad for chess. I mean, I don't know if. I'm looking. Oh, it's 77.9 thousand. Wow. Um, That's wow. That's almost 78 thousand. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm a new. <laughs> um, try not to learn says, my real name is Luke. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> gave me a heart attack saying Lukey Pookies. Uh, <laughs> he thought that um, you thought I was nicknaming you. <laughs> um. Anyway, there's nothing real new. We're going to get started in a minute. I was just, we were admiring or not admiring um, at the PogChamps chat. Man, they had it in slow chat mode, and I guess probably emotes only mode. No, we saw people type. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I thought it was emotes only. <laughs> hey, Frap, how's it going? But, um... Let's see. Thanks for helping me with the advice and Discord for restarting. Oh, you're the one. Hey, Save to Play. <laughs> I knew your name sounded familiar, and I was trying to um, <laughs> figure out where. I remember you now. Um, more PogChamp style. That is true. <laughs> your professor's five minutes late. I can't mind you right now, Frap. But I think, aren't you a teenager? I'm, you know. Right, only adult mods. I have to be an adult. Got okay? some life experience already. <laughs> but, um, hey, Pablito. All right, I'm going to start out. I guess I'll play some. Should we do Hand and Brain? Okay. Or do you want me to play? It's up to you. What do you want to do? Um, we haven't done Hand and Brain in a while. All right, we can do a hand and brain. Yeah, we'll do a hand and brain, and then we'll get going. You're, you're an adult, barely just trying not to learn. <laughs> hey, Squire. So send <laughs> us a challenge for five-minute unrated. Yeah, and then we It has we'll, to be five-minute. It has to be unrated. Mm -hmm, and then we'll do um, a quick hand and brain, and then we'll get started. <laughs> I'm trying not to learn, goddess. River of Nonsense is... Hey, Mepex, that's... It, it, I don't know if it's depressing, but man. It's like a river of deceit. <laughs> it's a river of something. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's almost 80,000 people. All spam. And I'm, we're going to get to you in a minute trying, to, trying not to learn. And we'll definitely play you. But um, yeah, the, the emotes and the spamming are pretty impressive. So I think it's just a different kind of stream. You can't really 
talk to anybody. (laughs) (laughs) But certainly, you you know, can watch. That's (laughs) that's right, Call 39. I think that people that have been on Twitch for a while understand that's the way Twitch is. But the bigger streams are like that. The small streams aren't like that. We could type K E K W here. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Um, one thing is, anytime Ben gets on these big streams and he types anything, they somehow still manage to see it, and we get <laughs> a whole bunch of weird champs after that. <laughs> so, so they are they are paying attention and reading, in spite of what we may think. <laughs> So uh, I think it's diminishing returns. I agree, at least as far as community goes. Um, and that, I guess that's just one of the downsides to having a big stream. I mean, you see somebody like Botez Live and Nakamura and how successful they are. Um, and that's great in some ways, but the community to me is definitely diminished. But anyway, we are going to play Hand and Brain now. Should Who should drive? You can. I can, okay. Yeah, you like to. I don't know that I like to. You I, like to. <laughs> I like to do both. It's just if I drive, which I'm fine with doing, um, there's less chance of us winning because you can well, say— Well, at the end, it's, it's a little bit less likely we yeah, win. Well, but <laughs> even before then. But it's fine. It's not about winning. I'm just saying usually if you if I say a bad move, you can fix it sometimes because you're sometimes. good. I can't really fix it. I say bad moves too, though. Not like me. Why can't I get my mouse over there? Don't go all the way up to the top of the screen. Oh, you have to. Oh, I got over here. Like in the middle. Oh, in the middle. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay. (laughs) We got it. Go us. We're going to (laughs) win. Pawn. Knight. Pawn. <clears throat> Bishop. Queen, king, pawn, pawn, knight. Pawn. Thanks for the thousand bits. Nicola. Yay, thank you. Thank you, Nicola. How's it going? Pawn. Uh, let's see. Pawn. Bishop. Rook. Rook. Okay, so that wasn't the right rook move. <laughs> Bishop. Rook. Uh. 
I mean, I don't know what to do here. Okay. You want me to double it? Double up on the bubble up. <laughs> Bishop. Rook. Darn, look how behind on time we are. It's horrible. It's where I live. <laughs> Knight. <clears throat> What's that? Do what? Are you live right now? Yes. <laughs> do, what do you need? Oh, okay. Night. <laughs> Night. Rook. We're doing great so far. Thanks for the subscription, GM No Chance Ever. Queen. Oh yeah, I heard a noise. Sorry about that, that um, I didn't acknowledge. I was really concentrating. Oh, that seems bad. <clears throat> Thank you, GM No Chance Ever. Pawn. Uh, rook. Mm. Rook. Rook. Pawn. It was almost Al Yakin's gun. Hey, Laszlo. Hey, Laszlo. Queen. <clears throat> Rook. No idea what you want me to do with this rug. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Pawn. Is, there, is it too late? It's too late. <laughs> to apologize. We're doing all right, though. Rook. Rook. Queen. 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 King.
king. King. Queen. All right, you're all on your own now. Good luck. Nice pre-move. Risky pre-move there, but okay. <laughs> you got it. Great time for pre-move. Oh. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Darn. You can do it. Good game. Oh, darn. Not enough pre-moving at the end. I, I'm not a good pre-mover. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> hey, Endo Queen. Hey, Endo Queen. How's it going? I mean, I just was too low on time before I got to that point. So I couldn't That's really true. think about what to do. Let's take a look at that game. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, I just didn't know what you wanted with the rooks at all. Well, I'll show you. Okay. So I wouldn't play there. It doesn't really help. You want to play C5. Okay. But you did that next. That's okay. Here, I, when I said pawn, I don't want you to take and open up his rook. That helps him. I want you to go here so we can develop our bishop. You got to play this move. Um, develop your bishop. It still seems like it's going to open up. I see, I see what you're saying. I know, uh, but you're saying you didn't want to open up for the rook. You're just... Well, so this move now, his rook's open. Mm -hmm. So here, I mean, maybe he can do something and open up his rook. But all I want to do is move my bishop. Okay. Like he can take, he can push or something later if he wants. But why are you helping him? Make him do it. Make him spend his turn to do that. <laughs> you know? Don't spend a turn to help him open up his rook. Mm -hmm. Just open up your bishop. You need to develop your bishop. Okay. And, yeah, whenever they trade bishops in this in this London, you should be playing e5. Because you can control this more than he can now. And this London? This was a London. Oh. This oh. opening was the London yeah. system. Yeah. You, you play it. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. I forgot it was a London. I'm sorry, so now what was the point? When they trade their dark square bishops, they lost control of the square. So you can play e5. That's why white probably shouldn't do that, honestly. And now you can play e5 here. After, in Why the shouldn't do what? Trade, trade the bishops. Oh, trade the bishop. Uh, what would they have done, though, if... Bishop g3 is the main move. Yeah. And that's what you do, in fact, with mm -hmm. white. True, but if that gets traded off, um, then you still don't have a dark square bishop. Yeah, but then they have to go here. Yeah. They have to spend a tempo to do this and then play e5 later. Oh, okay. Instead of, they forced, they helped you put your queen here. So they lost time for them to do that. Oh, I see. Yeah, for the for the e e pawn push. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, e five is the way to go. Now we're worse. A five. Uh, I wouldn't have played that. I I wanted you to play b six, bishop b seven. Then we could move our knight and play knight e four, and our bishop helps protect that. But you don't really have to do that. That's just what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. This was all fine. I just wanted you to play rook here. I mean, I, we can't do anything, so I was just saying rook. <laughs> what? Uh. Like, we can't do anything here. Now here, I want I wanted you to move your rook because he's threatening to take this and then skewer. So don't put all your pawn, your rooks on white squares mm -hmm. when there's yeah, no white I saw, bishop. Yeah, I saw it. It was too late. But it, yeah, but you moved it. Oh, yeah, but, so later, but later there was, um, I thought, a skewer opportunity. This was good. Now here when I said, Rick, I wanted you to do that, that would have been good. Oh, yeah. If it's free, it's for me. <laughs> then he hung it again. That's why I said, Rick, again. <laughs> I knew I was missing something, but I just couldn't see. And I was starting to panic about the time a little. And here when I said pawn, I wouldn't do that because that hangs pawn. I wanted him. He wants to go here, right? Um, that's why he played this. He mm -hmm. played f4 and queen f2. It's pretty obvious he's playing f5, so I wanted you to go there. Okay. Then you could take it if he goes there. I was just trying to stop what he's up to. But you did your own thing. Now he should probably take this way and win a pawn. 
Maybe he was afraid of this, but we can block. Mm -hmm. He can block. Somebody can block. I was just trying to get it get in. Oh, okay, but loses a pawn. That's I the know. downside. But he took this way. Now you're doing great. Although he could probably play a passive move here. Or maybe rook a1 is good, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like rook a1, a2, b3, take this, take that, because his queen's attacking. Mm -hmm. That might not be good, though, for him. It seems like, though, if I could just push it to... Here? Yeah. That's what I said. And then here, he's attacking it. I know, but I have yeah. two other pieces that can easily... Oh, like this? Yeah. All right, Check yeah. In. I, know I thought you would take here. I know it puts me in a passive position. I wasn't just trying to save you the could try that. But. Yeah. Because here, you could still take this or defend. I don't know. It's interesting, actually. It could be okay. Mm. Could be good. Now we're, like, better here, I guess. Eh, maybe not. Yeah, that's okay. I, I wanted you to go behind the pond. I know, I should have. I like going behind the pond. Yeah. But you did now, stone. so that's good. Yeah. <laughs> then we got our king over. And, and then, I just uh, didn't have enough time. It, yeah. I just didn't have any time. Here you should take that pawn. I think, yeah. You never did. You could always take it. Mm -hmm. Instead, you just kept checking and then looking for more checks. <laughs> Looking for checks in all the wrong places. <laughs> Good game. Good game trying not to learn. Hey, kangaroo. Hey, kangaroo. Where's kangaroo? I oh. Actually, uh, I have been losing some weight, actually. Thanks for noticing, Indo Queen. I, uh, I, I dropped below two hundo. So how much weight have you lost? Like 15 pounds or so. Wow. A little bit less. That's Between 10 and 15 pounds. a lot pounds. of money. Yeah. Well, in your I mean, pay, it wait. Be. <laughs> <laughs> You're just thinking we're British pounds. <laughs> hey, Scottish team. And go, yeah, it's. Um, I started back running, so trying to get in a little bit better shape. That's rough. <laughs> it's hard to start back exercising if you haven't done it in a while. <laughs> Have You're you also put on hair? <laughs> 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 yes, almost every day I, I add a little bit more hair. I'm like Wooly Willy. Yeah, and he, Laszlo, he was um, previously trying to get the poof to go down, and I did talk him into not doing that anymore. That's true. Well, I only did that because one time my hair was like really staticky. Yeah. So I ran some water through it so it wouldn't be so staticky. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, I kind of like it poofed down. Or, oh, okay. Or unpoofed, I mean. Yeah. And then, but then you were telling me the poof was better, so. And then, know, then, then, yeah. Well, then we talked about it with the chat, and the chat likes the poof. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay. Are you gonna start back running too, Indo Queen? <clears throat> it's hard if you haven't done it for a while. Hey, Jen. Um. But I, I enjoyed it. I was running on the treadmill. Yeah, he likes the big. Yeah, Jen likes the big fro. Yeah, because it you know, goes more with the tattoos and all that business. You know, wanna let yeah, it, that's true. Let it go wild. That's true. Um, give me some free weights any day of the week. <laughs> and who needs cardio? <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid to go to the gym. And all right, to get mocked by the thin people, right? <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm like, no. Shut up, thin people. The COVID. The oh, COVID. that too. <laughs> <laughs> so I have some hand weights at the house. I started doing those too. But um, it's not the same as going to the gym. <laughs> now I'm not worried about the thin people at the gym. Well, you are you're one of them. That's why. Well, I mean. One of us. That's what they say <laughs> when, you, when you drop in. You're like, one of us. <laughs> well, I don't know if that's necessarily true, but I'm not concerned at all about what the gym people think. But um, but I'm not going during the COVID. Do you do the funny curls while you walk? I do the serious curls. <laughs> no, I um do not do the funny curls while I walk, like the like this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do that. I stand still and do some bicep curls, and then I do tricep curls right now currently by putting my knee on the couch because we don't have a weight bench <laughs> well that's how you do tricep curls 
Yeah, what I used to do is, you know, you're leaning on one hand mm -hmm. and one knee. I know about it. Yeah. I, when I worked out my triceps, I always did like where you hold a, a free weight here and do this. I have a that bad. Was my favorite yeah, one. I have a bad back. Oh. So, but that one is probably really good. I like that one. Yeah, I want to try some push-ups, which I've never really done in my whole life. Yeah, the hand weight, that's what he was just saying. I'm afraid to do that because I have a bad lower back. I have a herniated disc. So I have to be careful with the weights. But um, but I like the machines. I'm, I wish I could yeah. go. Yeah, we can go running, Indo Queen. Welcome to the machines. But, <laughs> but um, I need to you know, get better at running. I'm no good at the moment. But um, I'm, I plan to increase. I want to get back to doing like five miles a day again. So I have a ways to go. <laughs> anyway, what should we do? Should we start the lesson or play one more? Because I saw that Scottish Demon Goat issued a challenge. Well, uh, I don't know. Let's, we could start the lesson. Yeah, we'll we have more that. time later. For... Right, we'll play at the end, though, or I'll play at the end. Yeah, just keep that challenge up. Yeah, you don't think you don't think it would hurt my back trying not to learn? Says the probably 18 year old. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Okay, this is all right. Awesome. All right, so the first game, remember, this is all Bishop F4, Queen's Gambit declines. Mm -hmm. And the first game will be Magnus against Vichy from 2019, the Gashimov Memorial. I was a big fan of Gashimov. I did a uh, great players of the past about him. Yeah, I remember that. And you said the game is uh, Anand? Yeah, Carlson Anand. Oh, Carlson Anand. And um, just for after we're done here, you have five-minute unrated or or rated, because it's probably just me playing at the end. Five or three, rated or unrated, I don't care. But anyway, onward. And upward. <laughs> there we go. And then bishop f4. Castles, e3. So here, there are three moves that black generally plays. And I was wondering maybe you, if you could tell me what they were. Because we talked about this, but it was a while ago. Mm -hmm. So what are the three moves that grandmasters would play with black? Um, I'll have to think about it for a minute. I'm All right. Probably not getting Maybe the chat will know, and they'll tell you. Uh, grandmasters would play... Vishwa nothing. <laughs> That's right, kangaroo. That's um... not right, trying not to learn. Come on. <clears throat> now you're talking. Now you're talking. Three moves. Yeah, they're like at least a thousand games with each of those moves. <laughs> and then every other move, they're, you know, maybe a couple of games just for fun, you know, <laughs> but not usually played. Mm -hmm. I don't know. C6? Not correct. No. That was what somebody. That was what trying not to learn said. But that's a little bit too passive. Yeah. You're you're gonna be going for that's like a semi slav setup, but you have a more C5. passive version. C five exactly. Mm, okay. That's what you want to do in a queen's gambit decline. C five is one of the moves. Nobody in chat said that one yet. All right. That's uh that's gonna be the that's gonna be this game yeah. This game's gonna be C five. Mm hmm. And then another move mm -hmm. would be. Um. I don't know, bishop, um, not bishop, uh, knight d7, knight bd7? Yes, knight bd7, preparing c5. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the last one? It's like sort of the newest one. You wouldn't really see this move, you know, 15, 20 years ago at a high level, but now you see it all the time, and it'll actually be the next game, will be this third move. Nobody in chat's got it. Chat's saying crazy stuff, 94. Um... 94 maybe, but... <laughs> Knight a6, come on, what are you, ridiculous? <laughs> that is something Scottish Demon Goat would play. What? Knight a6. <laughs> he always plays the opening in a very interesting way. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> From what I remember. Yeah, I don't know, a6? Almost. a5? Ooh, we're moving a little <laughs> further away. b6. Oh, b6, really? Yeah, they like to develop their bishop. That oh, shouldn't be too surprising. Oh, fianchetto, fianchetto, okay. Yeah, and it also prepares c5. Yeah, so those are the three moves that a super GM would, would play in a serious game 
if they're, uh, you know, mm. trying to play normal. Yeah, sorry I don't remember that. That's all right. I haven't looked at it since we talked about it. But, you know, I just want to get you used to it. <clears throat> and be like, oh, that's normal. So C5. Mm -hmm. Now the problem with C5, if there is a problem, is that it, you might get an isolated pawn, right? Definitely. DC is the move. Force the bishop to move again. Sometimes mm -hmm. people take and give him an isolated pawn, uh, but it's not the only way to play. We talked about this when we were delving deeper into the theory. Mm -hmm. uh, he goes for queen c2, does Magnus, which is the other way to play. To not give him an isolated pawn. a3. And queen a5. So the idea here is that white's sort of telegraphing he might go queenside and then play for a kingside attack. We looked at a game where that happened once. Um, but Magnus doesn't do that. You don't have to do that. He plays rook d1. Also a fine way to play. Just attacking the center. Yeah. And he's going to castle kingside, obviously, since he can't castle queenside now. Rook mm -hmm. d8. And bishop e2. Later in the tournament, there will be a game... There was a game, knight d2 was played, which is the most common move. That's Karyakin against Anand from the Geshemov Memorial, 2019. Oh, okay. Hang on a second. Okay. That's fine. Got a lot of kids interrupting the stream, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Why not b4? That would have lost last move, because you just take it for free. Here it loses... Uh, it. What does it do wrong? I guess you take and take... And then 94 is strong. Yeah, that's right. I'm pretty sure. Let's look. Then when you defend this, I'll go here, so you can't defend it twice. You don't. You can't play king d2. It's check. Yeah, I think that's correct. Looks right to me. <clears throat> anyway, so he didn't do that. He played bishop e2. But yeah, knight d2 is much more common. But it's Magnus, so he did something a little unusual with this. Knight e4. That's the problem with not playing knight d2 is it allows knight e4. That's why Anon did it. So he knows what he's doing. Yeah. People are oh, suggesting... GM Benjamin Feingold's in the chat. Hey, GM Benjamin Feingold and the tall, all sorts of people. Fabs, music producer, Sick Toe. <laughs> nice. I don't remember seeing you here before Sick Toe, at least lately. <laughs> And I can't read that. Oh, that's kangaroo. It's that neon. neon. Neon green. Neon Bible, more like. It's difficult. So now white gets a bad structure. But uh, well, I guess both sides have a bad structure. Yeah. Neon so Bible. now he could try to take the pawn, but he's a little bit behind in development, right? Mm -hmm. And he's going to be worried about like a kingside attack, potentially. So he just plays h6, which is the best move. And it also prepares bishop e6. So he's like, well, if you're not going to take my pawn, I'll save it. a4. So you think that's the the best move? h6. Because then... Well, it stops knight g5 right. with the idea of mate. Okay. Well, I guess not exactly mate, but, you know, should be. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought, too, just yeah. making sure they're wanting some kind of sack. Or some oh, here? other moves that could happen. Yeah. I wouldn't uh, believe that too much. Right. Because what's the next move after you take it? You, can, you still can't go here. Mm -hmm. It'd okay. be better if I could take and then they both disappear and you can't replace it. So I could still go here. Mm -hmm. Even still G6 probably. <laughs> it's not a huge problem. Mm -hmm. But anyways, uh, so he's playing Bishop D6 here. And they trade like this. And then Magnus uh, offers this trade as well. Although it's pinned, so you can't quite take it yet. Now, in this game, Anand plays bishop e6, which is a good move. Computer says it should equalize. Later in the tournament, uh, there is a game, Karyakin against, or Mamadyarov, Karyakin. So Karyakin had black, which is funny because in the other game I quoted, Karyakin had white. So mm -hmm. Karyakin has white and black in this position, like or in this opening, twice in the same tournament. And Karyakin played rook b8, which I assume is an improvement because he played it later in the tournament. Computer says they're both about equal, mm -hmm. so I don't really know if it matters too much. That mm -hmm. game was a draw, 
and uh, so I didn't show it because it's a little more boring. So bishop e6. Hey, Pat Sirius. <laughs> I need lessons so I can qualify for Pog Champs 3. <laughs> yes, and then after winning Pog Champs, you're in the Olympiad. <laughs> <laughs> so now an interesting move here. He goes for c5. He releases tension in the center and uh, is just getting a tempo on the rook. And he's also, this move is like he's targeting this pawn now. Because it's going to be tougher for the pawn to be advanced. Because I'm, I'm going to go attack it. So he's, he's going to play on the queen side a bit more here than in the center with c5. Computer liked that move. He dropped it all the way back. Which should be fine. He liked all the next moves here. Rook b1. Like we mentioned. And yeah, you can't play b6 because I'll take it. You can't take with the queen because it'll hang your queen. If you take with the pawn, your knight's hanging. Oh, yeah. So he plays queen c7. Hey, Fortuna. Oh, Fortuna. A, B sequence. And simple strikey. You can play Karen after <laughs> uh, we're done here. We are not a like couple. Usual. This is yeah, my use that X Clam Spencer. It's Don't even tell him about me. Don't even tell him. Okay. X Clam Spencer. <laughs> Queen B2. Rook A, B8. And he goes knight D4. Takes. Now, you might be expecting pawn takes, right? Protect the pawn. Mm -hmm. Can, you know, don't have an isolated pawn. But queen takes is better. The queen is really good here. She's exerting pressure all over the board. Mm -hmm. Those are in, the kinds the of moves. Mood, moods. I can't talk today. Moves that are very difficult for me to... Decide upon? Yeah. Like, I well, I mean, if you're playing a blitz game, you should just do one randomly. Who cares? Okay, that's but true. It's, <laughs> you know, it's, it's a slow game with two super GMs. They got to play really precisely. I know, but I mean, that's... I think most, a lot of people, even higher rated than me, would take with the pawn. Definitely. I can see it when you're pointing out that the queen's really right good. there in the center. She can't even get kicked away, right? Right, yeah. No knights, no dark square bishop. Mm -hmm. It's going to be difficult for the rook to get in there. And even if he is threatening to do that, you just stop it. So, yeah, the queen on d4 is really strong. Mm-hmm. I can see that now. So he does break with b6. Tired of that press. But now he's accepted that he's going to have a worse pawn structure. He has two isolated pawns instead of one. So he just has a worse pawn structure and a worse bishop. Even still, oh, he, I don't know if he played that. I don't think he did. Even still, the position is, is pretty close to even. But as you might imagine, white has a, a, a nice, a comfortable position. You'd like to have white here, mm -hmm. just with some small advantage for free, basically. But should still be obviously very within the realm of a draw, draw ish. But still some material on the board to play with. Doesn't mind to trade queens. Because, yeah, I mean, Anand has pretty active rooks here. So he's, he's playing actively. That's his counterplay. That's how you got to do it. But the A pawn is strong. And, and this is actually the theme that's going to tie these two games together, other than the opening being the same. Is that both sides will have a really strong a pawn, mm -hmm. and that will uh, that'll really influence the play in the late middle game and mm -hmm. into the end game even. Yeah. Exclaim Spencer. That's right. <laughs> so he trades Rex. Now this is like the first mistake of the game. Finally, they played basically, you know, twenty-seven and a half perfect moves. It's pretty good. And Anand, uh, he goes for... Or both sides actually make a small error here. This is pretty instructive stuff. He goes for rook c5. Looks like a good move. Mm -hmm. um, he should have played a little bit more passively, actually, rook c7. Where I think that white can try to get an advantage by checking and playing bishop a6. The idea is to play bishop b7, a6, rook a8, and take the pawn. Oh, yeah. Good idea. We'll block, block the little pawn off from the rook. Yeah, a little interference. Yeah. Computer says it's, like, dead equal here, but, I mean, obviously white's a little better. Black has to find a way to equalize, which he should be able to with best play. But um, he still would rather have white. So what's wrong with rook c5? Mangus didn't quite prove it, though. What's wrong with rook c5? All right, he played a6, the normal move. That's probably what Anand was expecting. Mm -hmm. But here's a precise variation. I have to look at my notes for this. Check. 
Now, you can't block with the bishop because. Um, well, bishop a6. Yes, bishop a6 or bishop g4. Both are winning. Oh, yeah. Exactly. So you have to play. Uh, well, I guess you could go here, but then rook b7 is probably pretty good. You know, you deflected the rook away from your pawn, so now rook b7 will attack the pawn, and you don't have to worry about rook takes pawn. Mm -hmm. So he has to go here if this variation happened. Now we can play a6. Now the idea is to play uh, there and there. Good idea, right? You might think, well, I can stop that. Bishop c8, right? Mm -hmm. Stopping rook b7. But white does have a good move here. I was hoping you could find it. D bar to D. No one who speaks German could be an evil man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, they got 70,000 people watching Pog Champs, but we have 70. So, you know, one tenth of 1%. It's pretty good. How's it going, Jay Cheatham? One. <laughs> um. Jay Cheatham already taken, yes. I figured. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know. It's a it's actually a fork. <clears throat> It's the type of move you, you have to play when you have disdain for your opponent. You know, like, I don't care what you're up to. I'm doing me. I'm living life right now. I've seen way too many people here that I didn't know last year. That's the type of move you have to play. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Those Drake lyrics didn't help you solve this? <laughs> wow. I thought um, it would. All right. Um. Yeah, you got it, Chess Gold Lich King. Chess Gold Lich King, cool name. Yeah, the chat's got it. After those Drake lyrics, now they know. <laughs> That's all it takes. My favorite actor from mm. Degrassi. There are some tactics involved with the move, so you guys didn't give like a variation, but that's okay. I mean, there's not a whole lot on the board. Right, where's the <laughs> fork? Do you, is there a fork you can even see? Um, let's see. I only see one fork that's legal even. Well, that's just me. And there has to be only one fork here. I can't see any other. I'm done. I don't see a fork. Well, maybe you could tell me some things that are loose in Black's position. <clears throat> What's attacked and defended the same number of times? Well, I mean, I mean, the bishop's defended by the rook. That's attacked and defended once. What else? And the a7 pawn's loose. What else? Um, Thanks for subscribing. Not bad. The f7 pawn is loose. And that's it. Well, I guess the rook, but not mm -hmm. really going to attack that. Mm -mm. So, yeah, you can attack two of those things at the same time. Um... Well, I mean, it seems like if I'm going to attack two pawns at the same time, I have to get rid of the bishops. Just do it right now. Don't be a chicken. I take the bishop? No. Attack the two pawns at the same time. Oh. I said it was a fork. I didn't say it was a sacrifice. Oh, right. Well, it is a sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you'd have to move the rook. Oh, I see. 
if you go rook b7. Yes, anyway. Then you You're can, not stopping me. I'm doing it anyway, attacking I'm, both pawns. Then I'm almost promoting. Right, so here's the variation. Takes, takes, mm -hmm. check to try to go here. But then there's even another fork. How convenient oh, yeah. is that? <laughs> <laughs> that is yes. pretty convenient. Really nice. And yeah, you can't go behind the pawn here because it's protected. So it's a queen. Yeah. So you can't take here. So bishop c8 doesn't work. So there's not really a great way to stop this move. Mm -hmm. I mean, rook c7, it's the same problem, right? It's not really going to help you. Rook d7, bishop b5 would force your hand to either trade the rooks or, mm -hmm. or move the rook and lose the a pawn. So this is winning now. Now, so there is a, 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 we have to like compare that variation to what happened in the game. <clears throat> so he played rook c5. Instead of rook b8 check and, and etc., like we saw, mm -hmm. he played a6 first. Now it's, uh, it's not winning with the best defense. He should play a move to stop b rook b7, bishop c8 where the same trick that we just looked at doesn't work anymore. If you go here, takes, takes, my king is safe here. Mm -hmm. So I can check you and go here and you can't fork me. Right, so now yeah. it's, it's winning for black. Oh yeah. <clears throat> now if you play rook b8, you're threatening bishop g4 like we saw in the other position. Can't play bishop a6 because we put our pawn there. But all you have to do is play a g6. Yeah, this defends, this holds for black. It stops bishop g4, because f5. And we'll also be able to move our king up, and we won't have to deal with the trick anymore yeah, with the check here. Check, yeah. Either either square is mm -hmm. fine, but I guess I'd choose g7. So this position is, uh, again, computer says it's like equal, but white's better. You know, it's just, just mm -hmm. you can't really win. Hey, Lady Buell. Or be better anymore. So bishop c8 would have defended. So a little bit of delicate stuff there, but he actually played g6 first. Sort of like what we talked about, but he just didn't stop rook b7, so he played rook b7. Right, right. And now it's losing. Check. Here. He doesn't want to take this and lose that. So he goes here, defending it tactically. If you take my bishop, I'll take yours. Which uh, he does do anyway. Yeah, that's what I figured. Because now he can pick up the a-pawn. Can't stop that. Don't stop till you take a-pawn. Takes it. And then here. Now it's just a matter of technique. You know, sometimes being up a pawn is like kind of tough to win, mm. but his pawn's pretty good. He goes king <clears> h2. <throat> h4, yeah, he doesn't mind to lose the pawn because then I can move my rook and, and win. Never do this. So now his plan is to move his king over there, but he can't go here. It's illegal. So he just does this. Afterwards, Anand resigned already. Uh, a little early, I guess, but you know Magnus is going to win this now because all he has to do is go there. Then you're going to have to keep your rook here, so then he'll move his king up. E easy technique. It doesn't seem easy to me. Okay, because here's why. Well, we could, why don't we play it out a bit? Yeah. Maybe you can play black, and I'll show you with white. <laughs> Unless I mess it up, then yeah, I'll take, I mean, I'm take just those moves back. No good at the end game. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. all right, rook a2. Oh, I see you're going to do the zig and the zag. Yeah. I didn't if know. If you keep checking me. If you don't, uh, I'll go here. All right. Well, I was, I don't know what I was thinking. That is not so bad. I was just yeah. going to keep checking <laughs> me. <laughs> what could, okay. Rook A1. Rook A2. I'm pretty good at this. <laughs> A1. Rook A2. I guess I could go king c3, but whatever. Um, this 
the zig and the zag. Every, every <laughs> time you zig, I zag. <laughs> You can't head over to A8 because if you go here, I check you, and then you have to resign already. That's the problem. My king can move and yours can't. Yeah, okay. I mean, it, it might be smart for you to try to do mm. something here, but if you play here and I take, you can't play king takes because then I check you and I queen. You can't let me move my rook with check, then I queen. So it's kind of, you can't do anything actually. That's kind of the problem. All right, I see now. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. I just for a minute was like. So Magnus got him pretty good. They both made a small error here. With rook c5, that was wrong. He has to play rook c7, and defend like this. And then a6 was wrong. He has to check first and then use that really precise variation where with the the tra the tactic tactical trick there is yeah. rook b7 and followed by bishop d3 at the end right um, but he played a6 then all he has to do is play bishop c8 but he played g6 terrible and then lost it's kind of weird that he did that because like what i mean he loses the a pawn and right. there's, there's no tactics or anything he just lost it so mm -hmm. i don't know but it's potentially some time trouble here <clears throat> Potentially. It's move 30, so it's a little early for time trouble, but could still see it. What was the time control? I don't know. <laughs> uh. Probably something in 40 and then something else. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what I'd imagine. But a longer game. Probably. Yeah. What does Karen play against C5? I don't even understand. Like, You mean <clears throat> D4, C5? She always plays C3 and I yell at her. To play D5, X clan. But all right, let's look at the next one, huh? Yeah. This is going to be Ding against Caruana. There, they played the same few moves, same move order even. But now he played a different move. Uh, C5 was what, uh, what's his name, played <clears throat> Anand. Mm -hmm. But Fabi goes for B6. Mm -hmm. I had already spoiled this said that he did this already. Oh, I didn't remember you saying that. Well, no, okay. <laughs> yeah, and like we were saying, this is the third move. Right. Which for a time was the most common, but I think is probably the third most common now. You know, like if if it's two super GMs are playing today, mm -hmm. that would be the last move I, of the three that I'd guess that they'd play, but they could still do it, of course. Not bad mm -hmm. or anything. So Ding handles this like in a pretty timid way, but I think he's a little bit better so he just goes here, lets him take it. He's like, whatevs. And bishop a6, this is another point of playing b6, is to play bishop a6, much like in that uh, advanced French line that I like to mm -hmm. show you. I was about to say, that seems to be a common little trick, is to get rid of white's, if you don't, if you mm -hmm. want to get rid of white's bishop. Yeah, because this bishop's good. He's got his pawns in the center on dark squares, so his bishop's like really good on this diagonal, on these two diagonals. And this bishop is kind of bad, but it could be okay here. But why not just trade him off, yeah. And Ding took. Most people play queen e2, but I like to take. To make his knight bad, right? Yeah. Um, they don't know in knight a6 the neb defense. <laughs> yes, neb, neb good dole, <laughs> fine, or whatever. I can't do it. <laughs> All right, so knight a6, then he plays queen e2. Queen c8. Yeah, Neb would love this one because he got his knight on a6. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Castles, queen b7. a3. Just to stop this maneuver, I suppose. And also, it's sort of threatening to play b4, which is not much of a threat, but <laughs> I think that's what he wants to do. So c5. So it looks like black got everything that he wanted. Uh, which he kind of did. You know, he, he, he got in the c5 pawn break, he's castled, he got his minor pieces out, and uh, what else did he do? Well, he doesn't have any weaknesses. He's not going to, like, get an isolated pawn like how Anand did mm -hmm. in the last game. But here comes knight b5, kind of an irritating move. It's stopping knight c7. I'll take it for free then. 
So you're, he's trying to play <clears> against <throat> this knight. And he's going to, again, go for the queenside initiative like Magnus did. Uh, by the way, this game was uh, in the Sinkfield Cup from 2019. It was a few months after the, the game we just looked at, the Carlson mm -hmm. Anand game. And earlier, the year before, Prior, 2018, there was a blitz game between Carlson and Nakamura, where Nakamura played 94, which is not a great move. It's okay. It's, it's not best, but it was a blitz game, and th that was the first time this position occurred. So Nakamura was just thinking on his own play to move, like a blitz move. Mm -hmm. And they ended up drawing. But obviously, Caruana knows that game, no doubt, or at least you know he analyzed it and decided that this move was better, which it is. And b4. Interesting stuff. So it's pretty sharp. And he plays knight d5. Good move. Putting a little pressure here and here. The p one of the points of b4 is that if you take it, I'm going to open up my rook on you. And try to get you going here. Get you pretty good there. So he's hoping to take and then maybe even take with the knight to protect his knight. Because the knight's kind of loose there with the queen and rook eyeballing it too. He's got a couple of uh, a couple of targets. You know, right. like if you if if this was opened up and you play knight d6, and then you take take and your rook is attacked and your knight's attacked. You know, it could be a problem. So knight d5 is a good move. I don't know uh, how much of their prep they were in at that point. Who would win, Bobby Fisher or Magnus? I think Magnus would win. Fisher would lose on time from being dead. <laughs> but I don't think they'd arrange that match. Come on. Zombie Fisher. Mm. Takes. Yeah. Takes. Rook A, B1. Good move. Now Ben's at home. He was in the chat. I don't know where he is now. Right. <laughs> oh, Mark's here. Oh, yeah. I was, we were wondering where you were yesterday during yeah, hey. the, the Tuesday uh, lecture. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mark. So, Rook A, B1. And now, a little bit of an in inaccuracy here. Peter likes queen a8 the most. Just get the queen out of the way. I did a little bit of analysis on it. He didn't play that move. Bishop d6. I think he was afraid of bishop d6. That's why I chose that move. Because mm -hmm. his move stopped bishop d d6. Okay. And then it also attacks the pawn, so you can play cd. Knight f takes. Just, just a sample variation. Something like this. And yeah, I mean, it seems pretty equal, right? It's a totally symmetrical structure, same material. White's knights are better than black's knights, but it seems like black will probably be able to do this at some point in the next couple moves mm -hmm. and, and equalize fully. So this is probably the way to equalize if you want to play this way with black. Not that you'll ever get this position, but you know, just in case you're wondering. Instead, he played rook c6. He's not afraid of any discovered attack, which is fair. And he wants to block this as well. And he stopped bishop d6. But good move here by Ding. He goes for bishop e5. Just gets out of the way of knight takes. That's all. Mm -hmm. Pretty strong move. Doesn't worry about f6. Never do that. And... Yeah, I mean, it's just a solid, good move, a strong move. The type of move that you'd expect from Ding. He gets out of the discovered attack. And then a4. He's, he's even maybe going to play a5 and mess you up there. That would be pretty annoying. You know, for example, if cd, just for example, c takes d, I mean, a5 would be terrible. You'd have to go here, right? Actually, you know what? I can even do this. Oh, I remember. I was looking at this variation. It was takes. I thought, why not just play cd and bishop c5? But then we'll play a5. Attacking the rook. You have to go here. It's the only reasonable move. And then I come in here. And I'm crawling all over you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get a discovered attack here, perhaps. Well, computer said this was losing, so I stopped looking at it. <laughs> Which is fair. So yeah, it's a tough position for black. This tension is not great for him. And white's playing well on the queen side. Knight a, c7. He finally got his knight off the side of the board, though. 
you know, people are talking about Fisher, but they can't spell it. Oh, knight a7, queen a7. Yeah. Knight ac7. So, I mean, this is still isn't like losing for, for Fabi or anything. I don't want you to think that he's lost here. It's just a little tough. I really like this move. So, if I had white here, uh, you know, I would typically want to play rook fc1, right? Get the rook in uh, with a tempo. Why not? But he actually plays rook bc1. Yeah, I like that move a lot because the rook is just better on f1 than on b1. You know, it would be the same position with the rook on b1 uh, if he plays rook fc1, obviously. And it gets out of the way of the pin, and it keeps the king safe and the back rank safe. It's a really nice move, rook bc1. That's the type of, This is the type of play that Ding is just so good at. The micro improvements and putting very small pressure on the opponent, like bishop e5, rook bc1. He likes to do stuff like that. He's so solid here, doesn't give any counterplay. And uh, Fabi struggling. Fabi struggling at this point. He takes here. And then this. So now he's uh, even got the, you know, the, the bishop for a knight, which is kind of nice, especially if you're trying to win. You'd like to have different pieces, right? Makes it easier to try to win. And then the A pawn's still coming up. Rook c6. But he does take here, right? Yeah, that was best. Because now he's converting his advantage yet again. He's got the c file. So he's got a really nice a pawn and doubled rooks on the c file. So he's got some initiative. You know, it's not anything that black has to, you know, be too worried about, but he's grinding on him. He's putting on the pressure. And it's difficult for black here. Black is obviously more passive with his rooks. And also the A-pawn situation is favoring white. Mm -hmm. So just a, a small advantage, <laughs> kind of like we saw with Magnus. Okay, they both made lift. Took a little time out for lift. And this. <laughs> Cameron just needs a game. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Scottish Demon Goat was next, though. Mm -hmm. I can play a couple of games. Yeah. You're not an adult, Cameron? He <laughs> needs an adult. <laughs> I, oh, no, he does say I'm not an adult. <laughs> Why not Rook B8 instead of Rook D8? I mean, Rook B8 looks okay, I guess. I don't really think that he, any moves forced for Black here. It's kind of a calm position. He's just getting squeezed a little bit. But... um. Well, maybe he wants to m remove his knight and then try to infiltrate with his rook, like if you try to move your knight, which I think he does move his knight. Yeah, knight e5, exactly. This is why. He moved his knight up. Now he'll move his knight back, trying to get in and, and penetrate into the position and then attack stuff with his rook and knight. So that's why he doubled rooks. Okay. Not that it was like necessarily forced, but here comes knight c6. And this is a problem for a lot of openings where black fiend kettles the queen bishop is that c6 is weak. So a lot of times you hop in there like that, like he did. It took him a long time to do it already, but yeah, the knight's pretty good. Hits with the tempo, the rook. He just moves his rook. No big deal. Here comes a6. And we saw this in the previous game. Mm -hmm. Then he goes back, always repeat. And then he infiltrates. So you can't go here because I'll take it now. So he finally stopped that idea. <clears throat> and then queen a5. Good defense. Computer said this was a mistake, but it's wrong. I, I analyzed it more deeply, and it's like, oh, wait, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. f4, good move. f4 is a nice move. It just protects the knight, obviously. It also um, makes it so if his king ever has to go here, this diagonal, won't he won't get checked there. Right. Yeah. Which is kind of nice. And he doesn't mind, like, weakening his king side, right? He's not going to get attacked on the king side or anything. And so uh, knight d7 is probably the best defense. Um, I couldn't really find a variation that was, like, totally crushing or, or even too worrisome. Like, you don't have to worry about the fork because I'll play rook takes rook, and then I'll take your other rook if you take my queen, which I guess you should. But then you'd lose two rooks for a queen, so that's not very good. You could do stuff like trade and then trade again. 
but I don't think Black should be very worried about that unless there was some move after all those trades. But I couldn't really find it. Mm-hmm. Or you could trade here and not trade rooks, just keep that tension. But any any of those variations look okay for black, and knight d7 should be the best move in that case. I couldn't find like something he'd be afraid of there, so I'm not exactly sure why he, he didn't play it, because it seems like the type of move to play when you're a little worse to just trade off the knight. But maybe he just felt like it wasn't necessary. And he, and he went for rook d2, a little bit more active. Not that that's a horrible move, but he should he could be a little bit worse here. Rook d5. So he's blocking here. Yeah. And now, a small inaccuracy by Ding. Um, he goes for rook 1, c7. Looks like a good move. Probably what I would do. <laughs> You know, again, the fork of these guys. Mm -hmm. It gives up the A-pawn, but... Uh, well, we'll see that he actually does give up his A-pawn for some kingside play in the game. He could have done a different move, trading it. And rook takes. But I'm wondering why not queen takes. Well, I guess queen takes your pawn's not hanging. So rook takes, I was still trying to attack the pawn was my point. But then we could play queen b7, mm -hmm. which would be good for white. Did I give a longer variation? Yeah, he might have not wanted to do this because of queen d2. I was trying to think, I always try to think like, what is the worrisome move that they wouldn't want this variation? And I would imagine it was queen d2 in this position. Fork, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know for sure because it allows this with check, which looks pretty good. They could play rook c4 to protect the f pawn. So that after check, we can play king h2. Where white's doing great here. Um, the computer didn't say it was quite winning, but it looks really good for white. You know, this situation is still kind of bad for black. This situation doesn't look great for black either. And uh, the e-pawn's hanging also. Okay, the check isn't such a big deal, right? You can just play this. Check, go back. So that's not a huge deal, but um, it's tough to get counterplay. Maybe knight e4 to threaten this. Could That could get some counterplay, right? That could get mm -hmm. some counterplay. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'd play knight f3 to block that. And defend the pawn, yes. Yeah, I don't know if this is right, but here it's a threaten check, and then here it's already defended again, even though you disconnected that, but you can't check me here. But okay, if you make him play knight f3, then your king's going to not get crushed immediately. Still looks tough for black, huh? Because this move looks like it, it's coming up next. If you can't go here, because I'll take it. See, so yeah, I don't know. This looks like really difficult for black. But, I mean, none of this variation was necessarily forced, really. Just something I was looking at. But it says rook takes is giving a big advantage to white. Mm -hmm. Which is fair. Oh, I didn't look at queen takes. Maybe this is strong. <clears throat> Anyways. It seemed like you would win a pawn that back when you had the position where the knight, white knight could check the... You mean here? Yeah. Oh, the e-pawn was hanging. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. And the a-pawn <clears throat> was hanging, right. Mm -hmm. But, okay, black is just hoping to get, like, perpetual check or, or even, like, mate with the rook. Hoping to get some play against the king. So you can't just win pawns for free. Yeah. You know, back in this position. Here, you mean. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, if I play knight e4, you can't take the pawn yet. I can check you and mate you. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have to defend, I guess, with knight f3. Because you, I was going to play here, but you can't do that. <clears throat> oh, yeah. So you'd have to play knight f3. It looks like that's the only move, actually. The only reasonable move. Well, I guess you could consider to check all the time, but then you, how do you defend queen g3? Mm-hmm. So yeah, I don't know, this is tough, because this is hanging, yeah. I think we can still move our knight away, like here or something. So it, maybe it's oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah, it, it's it's tough for black there, definitely. I wouldn't like to have black. He goes here. That looks like a good move too, though. But uh, the computer didn't like it as much. King h7 is a great defense. King h2. I like how they played h6, h3, then king h7, king h2, both right after each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like they're grandmasters or something. 
Now what are you people saying? Timing out Cameron, that sounds about right. Uh-oh. Black having some fat mates. I know K Kangaroo had to restrain himself. <laughs> Good job, Kangaroo. Well, um, that's okay, Mark. You can show up to the next one that my dad's going to teach, actually. That's right, next week. That should be even more exciting. <clears throat> Although that mine was pretty good. Remember that at the end, that Rook A6 tactic? At the end, Karen? The what? I'm sorry? A rook A6 tactic at the end of uh, of that, uh, the, the, the Tuesday class that I taught yesterday? Yeah. That was so cool, right? That was cool. I was really excited to show that off. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't wait. I was thinking about it the whole lesson, uh. <laughs> the whole lecture. I was like, I can't wait for Rook A6. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. It was really good. And that'll be, of course, on YouTube. Yes. Soon. Yeah, well, maybe a week or so. <laughs> Promote. All right, so King H2. They traded rooks, and then he took on A6. So he lost his A pawn, and he's going to get some play against the black king, but this isn't clearly, this isn't like that other position we looked at, mm -hmm. where white was just in total control. Right. Now, at least he lost the A pawn. That's true. He goes for an interesting move here, rook A8. Mm-hmm. I guess he feels like I don't need to take this right now. It's true. That's true. Yeah, and he doesn't need to take it. Go ahead and say the rook. Two. What? Well, the rook's attack. Yeah, yeah. I thought he would go here. Oh, okay. Double attack. Computer doesn't say that moves better, though. I think oh. he didn't do that. It, they're about the same because of this. I'm not sure. Just guessing. Because then after I take this, you take here defending it, right? Mm -hmm. But this actually, this variation is interesting. I check you, right? You have two ways to stop check. This is a good question. Which way should black play to stop the check? Only two legal moves. So 50-50. <laughs> More like 50-50. Um, I don't know. Talking about the Rui Lopez. Bishop takes c6, check bishop d7. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know which is better. Um... Well, one of them it seems like you have to loses go... by force. And the other one, it's uh, about equal. I guess maybe white's barely better, but probably not. Should be equal. Anything to prevent double pawns, yes. Mm. I mean, Scottish Demon Goat, it, you can't say that one looks better. You have to calculate. Beep, boop, beep. You know, otherwise uh, you're just going to lose. Both side, both After both moves, white has tactics, actually. Well, how come, A, B, sequence? You can't just dump on the guy's move and not tell him why, right? Seems like G6 <laughs> is bad, maybe. Why is that? Because then you could go queen E5. And black would have to resign, yes. And you exactly right. Get it on back in there. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, G6 loses to queen E5. There's no defense to H8. Mm -hmm. Terrible. It's like mate in seven or something. Because mm -hmm. I don't know what he can do. This or something. I don't know. Here. It doesn't seem like Maybe G5. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't seem like it a whole lot's going on. Hey, trying not to learn. I mean, trying to learn. Trying to learn. I saw you showed up. I think he was watching some Pog Champs. Now, F5, there's a tactic, too, though. Rook takes F5. Um, oh, yeah. And it's a fork. Well, actually, I think this is probably the best move. But then after takes. It's a pawn up for white, but black has the best pawn on the board, which yeah. is this one. Mm -hmm. Even if they trade like this for that, then it, it's probably a draw, you know, with all the pawns on the same side of the board. So this position's a draw. So rook f8, knight d7 should draw, unless white can do some move here, like this or something. You know, let him take. Mm-hmm. I was thinking here maybe you could even try this, but I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. He played rook a8. Interesting move. It's actually a really good move. He's keeping the game going. Yeah. He's not letting it peter out to a draw. That's tough to do. 
Mm-hmm. He's not like playing the natural move and then drawing. He's he's trying hard to keep the game alive. And now he goes rook f8. So now if knight d7, he can take here, and it's it's a pin. So that was really cool how he did that. And in fact, because he did this, Fabi has a chance to blunder, and he did blunder in a way. He lost the game here. It's kind of tough to defend. He plays rook b5. Just getting out of this, trying to trade queens. He's hoping for, like, queen trade, and then you take here, and then trade that, and then black's better. Because <laughs> I got an outside pass pawn and a knight endgame. Black's right. probably winning there. Yeah. Maybe winning. Probably winning. So, uh, that's what he does. That loses, as we'll see. He has to go for, like, a really sneaky maneuver here. Um, he goes, he should go like this, attacking the rook. The idea is that it forces the rook to take the pawn. It doesn't really force the rook to take the pawn, but obviously he's going to do that, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of the knight taking the pawn. We want the rook to take the pawn with black so that uh, the knight won't take, and then you won't flush me out with rook h8 check and then knight e5 check. So my king is going to stay here now because there's no knight and rook situation. Mm, yeah. So now he's after mm -hmm. that, now he can go here. Uh, he takes a little stop, a little breather, like that, <laughs> off on b4. And then b1. Now he's got ideas to play rook d1 and actually counterattack. Computer is just saying 0, 0 and like repeating here. Um, I played a little bit. Actually, I just took this and then I couldn't really make a lot of progress. It, it was like doing this and then moving back and forth here. It doesn't want to try to win. I think because check and queen e1 check and then the white king gets flushed out. It doesn't like that either. So. Um, and you can't block with queen f2 if your king's here, by the way, because knight e4 forks, in case you're wondering about that. <laughs> so this is enough counterplay for black to actually hold the position. I mean, maybe white can still try something. But the computer said it was equal, so I believed it. It mm -hmm. seems like this is kind of tough to win against when, when he's dominating the first rank like this. It's going to be tough to get your king safe enough that you can use your queen and rook and knight to attack the black king. You know? Mm -hmm. It seems like that to me. And computer is confirming it. So yeah, queen b4, then queen b1 is really tricky. Because if you play queen b1 first and I play knight takes, you don't have time for all this. I'm flushing you out. Check. Check. And, re and resigns, because it's mate. <laughs> resigns and mate. You can't go anywhere but here, right? Not crazy, that's true. And then this is mate. Oh, I guess it's not mate, because you can run your king back. But okay, obviously ridiculous, come on. <laughs> obviously ridiculous. So yeah, queen b4 is a really nice move. But he played rook b5. Now, they were definitely in time pressure here, because it's, it's move 37. Mm hmm Yeah. Can people say anything? No, they're, they're doing normal stuff. Whose uh -huh. game are we looking at? He told him. I could type. I could type the names in, but I can only do that once, and then I'd have to make a new analysis board, which would take seconds. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you should do it if you could type. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, when you make an, when you before you make the analysis board and click uh -huh. start, it, it gives you the option to type in the names. Oh yeah, you should do that. I could do that. I'm uh -huh. just so lazy. It's tough. Uh -huh. So he doesn't trade queens. He goes back, and now he's lost actually because I'm gonna do that and that. Mm -hmm, true. Hey, also, Cameron. Also, I could try to take this and that. Oh, Cameron's back. Be good, boy. After a time from time. I out. didn't even see why you were timed out. <laughs> he goes here, takes knight d7. Actually, goes rook d8 here. Pin the tail on the donkey. He's trying to do this, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I suppose. Rook b8. But uh, now he can take it and go to fork town. Oh, yeah. But it's not, it doesn't win the knight yet because queen f5 attacks this knight, right? So he just goes here. Now he's, he's trying to go like this with the knight and then take your knight. And your knight's sort of trapped. Like any, you might say, oh, I'll just go here and then if you take, I take my knight, but I'll still do the same thing. And if I take on a6, I defend my knight. Oh, yeah. So you yeah. can't like counterattack my knight again. You can't keep doing that. Mm hmm. He goes here, but then he can go like this, actually defending his knight normal instead of with the tactic. 
But now it's all tactics here. This it's like really tricky because it's queen and knight each. But he is losing here. Queen c2. Knight f6 check. And now knight e8. Hitting g7. So he has to go queen c3. Now it looks like he's got it all handled, right? But e4 is a strong move. The threat is e5. Threatening a move that threatens an unstoppable threat. Mm -hmm. And what are you going to do about that, you might say? Well, he's like, I'm just going to get a queen. Right, that's fair. He goes queen d7. He's going to... Uh, see, if e5, I guess he would... I thought he would take. But if you take, then I'll play queen takes check. So that's not right. So what would he do after e5? Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I just assumed it was this, because then if I take back, you can do this with check. This might not be winning for white, actually. You know, I got two pawns, and I've got to pass a pawn. Mm -hmm. I can also perpetual check you. Well, you could go here and then queen g2, but even still, that might might lose. <laughs> what white might be worse there, because you, your knight might have to like stop the pawn, and then and then you can't uh, you you can't win. But my point is that he doesn't have to do that after knight takes. You could play this here, and then oh yeah, but we still can't quite take with the queen. All right, you don't want to get this end game. Is is my point? Mm -hmm. You don't want to get this end game with white, where it's knight against this pawn. Right. Yeah. Because that's not necessarily winning. Mm -hmm. It could even be losing. So he's got to be careful about that. That's that's sort of his point with playing a5. He's like, I'm just going to get a queen, and uh, hopefully, you know, that'll be enough counterplay. Mm -hmm. Hey, Julian. Oh, Julian Perleko is here. Mm -hmm. So this move attacks e6, obviously, frankly. He just uh, lets it go. You know, he couldn't play, like, knight d4. That would hang that. Check. Yeah, now he's going to go for the mating attack. Threatening again on g7. So he uh, heads for the hills, which have eyes, <laughs> unfortunately. Julian's freshly arrived from the Pog Champs. That's unfortunate for him. <laughs> I just made that up. <laughs> oh, that might be true, though. <laughs> now, both sides have a passed pawn, but somebody's king is weak. Yeah. <laughs> he goes here, but then he just resigns after e7. Yeah, that seems pretty tough. <laughs> yeah, the knight's even guarding that square, so you yeah. can't even try to stop it. Like with this or something, it doesn't make sense. And yeah, the king was too weak. It was nice that this was like a, sort of an end game, but uh, the king's safety really played a big part because it was there were queens on the board, mm -hmm. queens and knights each. So it was a very tactical end game. And uh, Ding did a good job of combining threats against Black's king with his own passed pawn and also his powerful a6 pawn, although he sort of messed that up. <laughs> But uh, he still always had the initiative there because he was putting the pressure on Black's king. Right. That's what you got to do with the queens on the board, if mm. possible. Yeah, I thought it was very, real exciting. There was a lot of tension, but I couldn't really tell who was necessarily going to win. I right. mean, it felt like White was better, but Black had that pass pawn. Yeah, White was always pushing the uh, the envelope there. But um, by the time that he, he collected the pawn, like on a6, mm -hmm. It was still, like, the black king is a lot weaker than white's king. Yeah. That was the defining factor. Well, still, he should be okay here. But I really like this rook a8 move that kept the game alive. And then rook f8. Nice. So knight d7 doesn't just kill it to a draw like mm -hmm. it would have with the queen on a6. Right. And this actually, this is why he blundered with rook b5. This was the moment. He had to play queen b4, queen b1, like we saw. One, one then the other. But that's a tough defense, especially it's move 37. To play that accurately in, in time pressure is, is a lot. It's a big ask, mm -hmm. at least. Are you two the two that GM Feingold talks about? <laughs> Probably not me, but yeah. <laughs> uh, we are. Yeah, that's Hey, us. where's that light coming in that's on you? There's like a... Oh, yeah, I see it. It's it's the sun. 
Yeah, it's I like know. 93, what, 93 that, billion miles away. I don't know how that's getting in. Million How's that getting away? in? Yeah, it's just that's where the ropes are connecting the. Oh. You know. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that happen. It's funny. Well, it just doesn't matter. Ben it's... only talks about TV shows. Mm-hmm. No, we're not always sunny in, in Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, what else are people saying? Uh, yes, she is, says Cameron. All right. Um, all right, we'll read a little bit of chat and then. All right, that's fine. Maybe. Hey, two bishops, what else? Uh, let me. I hate this goddamn mouse. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm going to glance at the chat because I hadn't looked at it in a while. Hey, Shifty McHacks. <laughs> um. Word, word travels fast, says GM Benjamin Feingold. I just got word in Pac Champs and Aruli Lopez. White played Bishop takes C6. Check early, pretty early. And instead of B takes C6, Black found Bishop D7. Oh, I don't know the Rui. Well, that? Bishop takes C6 takes a knight. Mm-hmm. And the guy didn't take back. He just blocked the check. Oh, I see. <laughs> Well, well, I mean, I don't really know what the position was, but obviously you should take back. <laughs> um, Definitely. Taking back is hard to do. Isn't that how the song goes? <laughs> <laughs> Toilet break chess. <laughs> Praising you, Spencer. Thanks, toilet break. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to learn is also obviously all excited about it, too. The Rui mm-hmm. stuff. Okay, that was timing out. Um, anything to prevent double pawns. <laughs> Just making sure we didn't miss anything in the chat. And then Fortuna said G6, I'd say, because then you, you, then you only This have is when one. I was asking about G6 or F5. Oh. That's why they're answering it. Oh, okay. Um, eyes itching. Whose game are we looking at? Ding. Oh, they answered that. Ding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ding versus Caruana. Um, et cetera. Okay, I don't think we Mainly missed a whole lot. You guys were very self-sufficient. That's true. Is Karen 1-2? That is true. I believe he's beat me. I think I lost on time one of his times per usual. Oh, the Master John's here. I said, I said hey to Master John. Oh, I didn't John. know. I didn't You were it. focused on. Where's your chess center? It's in... um. The suburbs of Atlanta, Roswell, Georgia. And there's Andy. I think I said hey to him already. The chess club looks lonely. <laughs> but it ain't that lonely yet. <laughs> it's pretty weird, Master John. I miss all of our chess peeps. Ain't gonna lie. Um, did you already see I'm a new? No. I don't want to analyze that. Okay. <laughs> I don't even understand, you know. Is that center in Cali? No. Um, Save to play. Oh, you went to Georgia Tech? When did you live in um, the Atlanta area? Save to play. Save to play um, posted on Discord. He's just started back playing, and he didn't really play right at chess when he was a kid, but he played when he was a That's kid, cool. and now he's kind of trying to sort of study a little bit. Um, Lady Buell says you oh you were in Atlanta last November that's cool interviewing at Morehouse well darn why didn't you come see us at the chess club Um, are you a professor if I might ask Lady Buell or were you going to school there (laughs) what was your interest in Morehouse anyways Um, you want to get at these uh, games too yeah Oh, you're old now, 33, says safe to play. Oh, you were interviewing at the School of Medicine to be a student? I'm the next Fisher, not gonna lie, says Cameron. <laughs> All right, well, let me play some games before we end here. Here you are. Um, when did we start streaming? Probably 5.30-ish. Yeah, about So we're on schedule here. Schedule. Oh, you want to go to medical school? Well, that's cool. Nerd alert. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we got to have some nerds to keep us safe. That's um, true. 
All right, yeah, we got a lot of sun coming in. Right? All right, I'm just gonna go in order. All right, I got it. It's Cameron's lucky day. <laughs> You're gonna play the next Bobby Fisher here, he says. Yeah, well, he says he's not a, he's a minor, so there's still time for you. Just don't go crazy. Too late for that. <laughs> <laughs> Getting a lot of challenges, huh? <laughs> Popular. Poplar. <laughs> oh, I just remember what I <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and he punished you even. God damn it. I didn't expect that. <laughs> All right. Dang, he remembers too, I guess. Yeah, I remember too late. Uh. All right. Let's see what I'm going to do here. You could still win. Yeah, I get so demoralized. Don't do that. Just beat him like I would. Just pretend you're me. I'd yeah. Play, I'd play a little faster, but, you know, that's, that's, that's mostly the only difference mm -hmm. is the rapidity. We wish to see your hands not to play instead of her because we are done. What? <laughs> Can you elaborate on that? <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. It's nonsense words. <laughs> You're going to have to change some of those words around so, it, so that it becomes English again. Mm-hmm. True. Yeah, that is a, you know, it's a tough accent when you, you type with the accent. <laughs> <laughs> you even have more time? You're always reading the chat and then you lose on time. I know, but, you know, it's not rated that much. I can read it. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I will never learn proper English syntax. Not with that attitude, you won't. Got some Chicago in the chat, too. Mm hmm The so Suspenser, great name. Every day's the 4th of July. Well, okay. I just seem tough here. It's a tough life. <laughs> It's like Annie. At least your king's active for the end game. Mm -hmm. There you go, playing some fast moves. Like fast Eddie, whoever that is. Oh, wait, I can't do that. I need to... Right. I mean, I would win this so easily against him. It yeah. Would, it would just... You would think black is winning if you saw me <laughs> <laughs> meet this guy here. Mm-hmm. Position's barely even losing. Really, it's... I don't even know if it is losing. Eh, probably. <laughs> Almost certainly. It's losing. Even still. Are you guys passive players? I'm not. I am. Yes, yes. Who's asking so I can <laughs> give him the bird? <laughs> the, the suspenser. He thinks just because he almost has my name that he can make jokes about your passivity. Mm -hmm. Karen's just very calculated with her risks. She doesn't like to take a lot of risks. Some people in chat prefer to have black here. <laughs> I 
you're right, Owen. <laughs> Wait, what's going on? Owen just got here. Is all. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like I can do anything. That's possibly true. Mm -hmm. Your opponent got in the classic pawn break with f5. <laughs> That's the pawn break that we get. Yeah. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta that was resign. Hanging last move too. No, I gotta resign. I just didn't see. I don't see pins very well. Good game, Cameron. <laughs> Let's take a quick analysis of it, huh? Yeah, the tactics are what get me pet serious. Hey, Owen. <laughs> so yeah, here you should play a six like you knew. Yeah, too late. Now here you should castle and play this and. Uh, Julian says it's okay for black, according to Julian. Wait, I should do what? Castle? Yeah, so in the game, you lost your rook. Yeah. And you took on d4, right? So just castle, and then take on d4. Instead, what you did was you took first, so now you can't castle. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing, but instead of castling, you had to play king d8. Yeah. Which is okay. even worse. All right. Now you're dead lost. Then this was all normal. I don't really think I would take there, but maybe you're afraid of the other knight coming in. Actually, maybe you should take that, yeah. Because knight c7, too. Mm -hmm. There, that seemed right. This seemed okay, I guess. Whatevs. This is a terrible move, of course. See, somebody goes around, I, I mentioned this to you. Somebody goes around telling people that you need to trade when you're winning. That's wrong. You mm -hmm. don't trade when you're winning. That's not a reason to trade. Like, if I said, why did you trade? And you said, because I'm winning, that's not an acceptable reason. You might as well say, because it's Wednesday. You know, that's, that's it, it has just as much influence. And not only is this trade bad for him, uh, or I mean, it's, it doesn't help him win, but it's also bad for him because he gets all these isolated pawns. So don't trade just because you're winning. That's a terrible technique. You can, like, trade queens because your king is weak. You trade bishops because you have a bad bishop, right? You, you, you trade rooks because your opponent's rooks on the seventh rank. It's crushing you. That's the reason to trade stuff. Now, trying to learn, trying to learn says Magnus says that. He agrees with me. I bet. Yes. I don't know. Yeah, you don't trade because you're winning. That's not what a strong player does. That's not what Magnus does. Yeah. So maybe he's saying that to uh, make you all weak again, <laughs> so, <laughs> so that he can be the best player in the world still. But yeah, terrible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you trade because like you have a reason, and, and being winning is not a reason. So this is all good. Then here you blundered your knight, but he didn't see it. He played here hanging his pawn. Why don't you just take that? I mean, if you're way ahead... Um... If you're way ahead, it doesn't matter what you do. <clears throat> yeah, well, I mean, then... a queen and a rook, I don't care what you I do. I know, but I'm just saying it <laughs> you might can trade if you want. sense to trade because it just simplifies the position a little bit and gets rid of any attacks they have, but... So I'm not disagreeing with what you're saying. Yeah, well, me. I mean, if you're so far ahead, it doesn't matter, then sure, you can trade. <laughs> but I don't know Definitely. why the um, coaches all tell the students that. Yeah, people, all, all my students think that, too. I'm like, stop doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, anyways, you could take this, though. It's free. Yeah. Then uh, maybe he's going to, like, double here and try to take this, but I don't care about that. Oh, here you can even play king takes, x clam. So that if he does this, you should play f6. You're nice rock solid now. Mm -hmm. No, you're, you're better here, I guess. I guess. Nah, eh, maybe not. It's not an exchange. But... Mm -hmm. So yeah, tough game. Tough to, you know, watch. <laughs> <laughs> um, anything, let's see. Hey, Jay Wolfent. V in VZDJ88. Did, um, oh, I'm not even going to ask. All right, let me play somebody else. Yeah, how about uh, Scottish Demon Goat? You got to play fast against this guy. He's I a know. fast player. He plays fast and bad. It's hard to play fast for me. That's true. Just uh, don't care about uh, things that don't matter as much. All right. Just, like, care about, like, oops, I hung my knight. That's the type of stuff you should care about. Mm hmm Not, like, where should my bishop go? <laughs> that doesn't matter. Yeah. Alright. Hmm. Hmm? Bishop C two, huh? 
Interesting. Then queen c7. I love this theory. Let's see what anybody in the chat has anything cool to say. I traded because I'd rather face a rook versus knight than a queen and rook and knight. Well, you should trade queens if your king is weak. And her king was weak. So you shouldn't trade queens when your opponent's king is weak. That's the opposite. That's like the reason to trade queens. Now you're playing fast. Well, this is a five minute game. I didn't even know it. <laughs> That's fine. Just pretend it's a three minute game so you keep playing this fast. Yeah. Um. <laughs> All right. Save to play sent a friend request. Nice. I took it, Nab. Wow. <laughs> Risky. <laughs> he was joking yesterday how I never take pawns. Oh. Wait, that wasn't good. What happened? Oh, it was a pawn. <laughs> I like how you go back to see it. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> well, I didn't know what happened. Like, What's going on here? Why is he taking that? What am I missing? There's got to be something. Oh, oh I get what a ABC Quince clarified his craziness before. He wants me to show that I'm not making the moves with my hands. So that, you know, so that uh, it doesn't, you know, we're not pretending that you're playing. I don't understand what's going on. He's just hanging all his pieces, that's all. I mean, there has to be something going on. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, he did have that idea, though. Did. All right. Darn. <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> this is a little rough. I'm about to get mated. That wasn't mate. You can block with two pieces. Uh, <laughs> hey, I can get out. <laughs> this is good defense. <laughs> Hanging everything. <laughs> I did oh, it. I guess. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't even have anywhere I can run to. <laughs> oh, never play F6. Come on. What are you doing? <laughs> you know. <laughs> um. Oh, let's see. Hey, don't say for my English, it's craziness. You're right. It was just crazy to read. But it wasn't because you were crazy. All right, all right I'm going to resign. Good choice. <laughs> good game, but it wasn't too good. Let's see. Uh, I thought that you were doing all right, you know, in the opening and such. There was a noise. What happened? We got donated a hundred dollars. What? Wow. That's great. It was because you defended so well. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thank you so much. That's. I think that's the best um, donation that I got on this stream before. And if if I'm wrong and somebody's out there, you know, don't be mad. Because I know Rufus Blunder one time gave. $200 for me specifically that was on Ben's stream. Yay! Thank you so much for that great donation. AB sequence is right. We do deserve. Yay! <laughs> it's for my great defense. $100 a dues. <laughs> or not so great. <laughs> so here, uh, when they play this move order, it's bad. You should take this mm -hmm. and then play this. We've talked about this I before. Know. I don't know why I didn't do it. You played knight c6 instead. I'm probably reading the chat too much, and you got that stupid here. pawn move in. Now here it's smart to, uh, 
it, I think you're supposed to take first, actually. Yay, thank you for my $100 donation. And then play bishop d7. Hey, I got a raid, too. Nice. Wait, what's going on? A raid of a party of one. Why can't I see? And it says seven. CJ. Oh, it's CJ. CJ. Thank you, oh, CJ. Seven. Yay. Seven looks like a one. <laughs> I was. It's hard to see stuff sometimes on the hey, screen. Hey, CJ. Yay, thank you, CJ. All sorts of stuff's happening. See, I hear you should take first, then play bishop d7. Yeah. Instead of bishop d7 first. Because then this is good, I guess. I forgot why, but I think it's because they take there. Anyways, he played bishop c2, which is very strange move indeed. Yeah, I didn't understand the move, except for maybe he was going to go, like, and people do that. When Queen d3. Maybe. Yeah, but there wasn't really anything going on yet. Then maybe you I... played here, which is also a pretty bizarre move. <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit. This is good. I like that. That's what I would have done instead of queen c7. Yeah. Then he took, which I would never do that. Then he played here. That I was so happy good. he took. Then you castled queenside. Interesting proposal there. Yeah. But, okay, it's not easy to make a good move for you here. Because if you play knight there, he actually could take it and then take your d-pawn, perhaps. Oh, yeah. So... That stuff. You could consider f6. It's a little risky. But he can't take it because of that. Mm -hmm. And f6 attacks the pawn and is threatening to win it. So that might be the best move. But castling queenside could be okay. He played here. Okay, now this move is really bad. You can't play a6 here. Oh. You're helping him attack. Yeah. And it seems like you're stopping him, but you're helping him break you. Okay. See, now your king's going to be exposed. I, I, I would right. do anything other than that. I would, like, do nothing or maybe a5 even, but <laughs> nothing seems mm -hmm. good, too. But, yeah, it's tough because, you know, you don't have a lot of room because it's French. So that's that's what you get in the French. Yeah. Maybe you could try some, uh, some g5 or something. Hey, you're getting a compliment g5 on the poof. g5 might be good. Oh, thanks, CJ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were just talking about, uh, about how we, you guys prefer the poof. CJ was one of the poof enthusiasts that's right you were instrumental in that cj <laughs> so yeah this was not great this was good you have to do that okay now taking is i, I wouldn't even consider to take that <laughs> <laughs> opening up here so your opponent noticed that and he played this move which i think loses he wants to go here so just take this piece protecting that oh well, I got, I could, didn't. You didn't I didn't see he was going to do that. No, right. I, mean, I know it's pretty <laughs> obvious, but that's the yeah. problem in a blitz game is, I mean, it's an obvious tactic, I, but I was so distracted by the bishop. I'm like, what is going on over there? <laughs> so I had to take it. The, um. <laughs> so. Yeah, I wish I'd seen that bishop move. That would have saved everything, although my king is still pretty boxed in right yeah but you took the piece and he's got another piece hanging and you yeah. stopped him and then yeah. if you take this you're fine if you take that and just go back bishop c6 you're rock solid yeah darn so yeah bishop h7 didn't work but it did work in this case mm -hmm. now you got to block here first but you blocked here and then and then here <laughs> And then here you hung the fork. I mean, why didn't you take back? <laughs> I was just so demoralized <laughs> at that true. point. I just kind of shut down. And Ten messages history. got deleted. Now, who was doing stuff that has to be deleted? Right. Or maybe it's Moobot. Oh, it's just Moobot. Oh, it's Moobot. Moobot's so um, harsh. But fair. <laughs> hey, Pro cat face. Probably have time for even one more game, huh? Yeah. I don't know if you're going to 730 or... I can keep going. All right, Neb. Scottish demon go. I'm gonna get you one day. Seems like I beat you before, but you had a mouse slip. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. It all it's a big blur. You didn't post a link. Hey, Flax Lethal, how's it going? All right, let's go to to Bishop's Vatels. Vatels. <laughs> I would stop and do the emote, but then I get low on time. <laughs> Right. So I'm not going to do it. Which website for chess is best is the paraphrasing of a question from Save to Play. Well, if you want to spend some money, chess.com is going to be the best. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to spend any money, then it's going to be Lee Chess. 
It's in the name. Lee Chess for Libre Chess. That's why they call it Lee Chess. And Chess24 is a joke. Come on. What are you doing? Yeah, Chess24 is a joke. Chess I prefer Chess.com, but I certainly get... Um, understand that you know Lee Chess is free. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the benefit of Lee Chess. Mm -hmm. Let's see. One time on, I played on Chess Twenty Four and I won on time, and then it said I lost on time, and I lost rating points. What? Yeah, that's and I and I, and I had bad. it was like a one minute game, and I had like like three seconds or something, like three and a half seconds. And it said, like, you lost on time. And then it showed the time, and I still had three, three and a half seconds. Oh, that's pretty bizarre. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, what? So their software's glitchy. Well, how long ago was that? Maybe I'm sure it's improved. Like a year or so. Oh. Yeah, it wasn't that long. Maybe huh. less than a year. So then I was like, I guess I'm not playing on this website anymore. <laughs> mm-hmm. But maybe it's better by now. Libre means free in Spanish. I, well, I think it's, I thought it was Latin, but, well, maybe. Hey, Danny. Yay, Karen plus Spencer. Go, Spencer. Yes. Darn, I'm like almost a minute behind already. That's true. Got to speed it up. It just stinks to be so slow. But you're not even playing faster. I'm thinking you're of a move. You're just complaining about it. I know. It. All right. Let me go here. It's probably Latin, yes. Latin would be Liber. Hmm. That doesn't sound right. But I wouldn't know. I don't have the wherewithal to argue with you about that. Oh yeah, Moobot's on a rampage. Do not post a link without permission. It says Moobot. Um... Mm -hmm, pretty picky, Moobot. Let me see if I can uh, catch up on time. People are saying that Liber is correct. Wait, what? Liber means free in Latin. Um. But you don't have to worry about that right now, because it doesn't matter at all. You know, you got to just take all this guy's pawns. That's what matters. It's like a symmetrical position, except for one thing. <laughs> Two connected pass pods. Freedom always matters. That's true. Although I'm more about liberty than freedom, personally. But that's just me. Comes some counterplay. Mm -hmm. Here comes the shack attack. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Way to not hang mate in one. Too bad hangs mate in one's not here to. Or good thing he's not here to see that. Like maybe. Otherwise he get jealous. Got a hangmate in one. Mm -hmm. I'm more about apple pie. Well, that's pretty American of you. Let's see what to do. God, I hate to do that. Get it on out. This looks like it's about to get ugly here. <laughs> Coyote ugly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Mm. yeah. Go, Karen. Darn, if I need to come out and defend for a minute. Always play Queen F1.
My grandma made apple pie before the U.S. existed. That can't be true because, you know, apple pie is, that's as American as it gets. So I just assume it didn't exist before America. Karen and Spencer's chemistry on stream is so wholesome and supportive. That's true. Wholesome and supportive. Um, yeah. I just wish you'd play faster, though. It is a situation that um, needs to be changed. Here's a situation. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only lyric of that song I know. Um, I'm not going to hang right nor on. That's the question. How could you make apple pie before freedom was invented? A lot of these moves are difficult to guess. <laughs> if I was playing guess your move, I would not be doing well. Mm -hmm. Apple pie is English? <clears throat> That's not very patriotic of you. both doing your best <laughs> it's all right you hung your rook earlier so yeah oh never play f6 okay but you got a pre-move now come on um pre-move no i don't want to pre-move oh my goodness you got it Love this technique. Go, Karen. Nice. Didn't even know it was mate. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I was like, there's no way she knows that's mate. <laughs> I could have lied. <laughs> I, I would have called you out so fast. I'd be like, there's no way. <laughs> good, good, good game TV shit, but else. Great technique. <laughs> Dan, Danny's admitting it too. <laughs> I was just desperate, like, well, what the hell? I got to get a check in here. Right. Like, oh, yay, it's mate. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jay Copper. Trying to earn that $100 donation. Yes, <laughs> you did with that game. <laughs> hey, weird Gus. <laughs> So when they move their bishop out and they play d5 bishop f5 mm -hmm. and against the London, you should be playing c4 queen b3 early. Okay. To punish their pawn here. Oh yeah, we talked about that before. Because this is like, I mean, how are you better here? I well, know it's just like boring. <laughs> <laughs> like oh my goodness, couldn't get more boring than this. But I like that you did something n normal. That was good. This all seemed pretty good. If I had black, I would have probably taken this way, but he played rook c8, so he wanted to take that other way. Mm -hmm. So that's okay, that's I guess. True. Random moves here, I like it. Yeah, then you took everything, good. So probably here, he should not do that. Because couldn't you take it uh, even here, theoretically speaking? Well, it seems like... Because your bishop's guarding that, so you can't get attacked. I thought I was going to be able to get win the knight somehow, but uh, I can't remember now what the idea was that I had. Okay. Um, but that's why I thought he moved back, but maybe I was wrong. I know the queen's attacking and it's defended by the queen, but... Um, right here, this is tough for black. This was good you played queen a4 and then back, because now he's got to deal with the press. Oh, I know what I was going to do. 
I was gonna. Oh no, they would they would take with the knight. Well, oh, then you win the bee pond. You're yeah, talking that's about true. rook takes. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the threat. Okay. So he has to do something about that. Mm -hmm. Like he probably has to trade rooks himself. Mm -hmm. But then you're a little better because you got the C file. So you outplayed him. Nice. Mm -hmm. But this move was bad by him. That's a bad move because queen b3 was too strong. Yeah. Really good stuff. I didn't understand that during the game. I saw that part in the game, why? But I. Okay, now here's where things weren't the, as perfectly played. Yeah. So <laughs> here you should play bishop f1 because always play that. Your move loses to h5. Yeah. Now he should go here so that your bishop's pinned to mate. Okay. He played here, so you can just take that for free. Yeah. And there's no mate, and he resigns, I guess. I mean, I guess he would have played g5, bishop g3, but that's okay for you. You have to defend the pawn. Mm -hmm. But you're winning here. So then yeah. you played f3. Ah, I was like, f3, I was just, I was in a time scramble already. Oh, well, you're always in a time scramble. Five minute game. <laughs> <laughs> you started the game in a time scramble. Then this was all crazy, crazy. This is all right. Good. Good stuff. Fine. Good. That's good. Now, if I were you, I would go here, pretending like I hung this, then I made him. Made. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But okay, bishop b5, fine. Yeah, this hung the rook. You could just take it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so th th that wasn't best. But I don't even know if you're winning because your king is weak. Mm -hmm. But m you probably are, are winning. You just have to defend it really tough. Like this move maybe might be best. Just defend the second rank and get your rook out of here so I can push for mate. Like, if you go here now, he can check you mm -hmm. intermezzo, and then you move your king back, he takes this with check, then you might might lose. It actually might not even be losing, because you're threatening mate and, and the rook. I mean, I saw the queen f6 maneuver, but I was... And the rook's hanging. Right, and so... Right. Yeah, but he can't take it right away, is what I'm saying, because mate... So he, he'd check you, forcing you to step back into queen takes rook. Check. Right. Yeah. Yeah, no, I... Yeah. I agree. So that that's why I like rook c2 to defend. And mm -hmm. then you're defending this diagonal too, so I, he can't even check you anymore. He'd probably play this to stop queen f6 and make a counter threat, but you should take it. Mm -hmm. Then you're on your way to a win again. Probably. Almost certainly. <laughs> Instead he played here. And then, Bye, bishop uh, takes. Now you're winning, I guess. A3, all right. Don't know about A3. Yeah, then he hung the rook, but then you saw it next move. Nice. Oh, uh, God. I was like, what? <laughs> then your technique was pretty good. That's fine. So, I mean, I would queen and let him take and then just push that. Push it, yeah. yeah. Nice. But, okay, he didn't have a lot of time. And now he gets, like, some counterplay because he's queening. Mm -hmm. So now you have to calculate. And then you checked him. So he hung mate in one, and then you mated him. Totally on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got to go here. Yeah. Now, I don't know. I was calculating this. I wasn't sure if it's a win. Because, uh... Got some checks, but he just goes back. You can't check here. That's the problem. Your bishop's... In the way. It's mutiny. <laughs> really. Your bishop's working for him. Yeah. And you can't, like, make a pause move because he can probably perpetual you. Yeah, I was worried about that. So I'm guessing it's a draw because I can't see how you can flush him out. Mm -hmm. I won the last game, Andy. No, it says you're winning. It, <laughs> it just takes and wins. It says I can escape checks now. Oh, okay. I, I didn't actually even see this move, which does help defend against the checks, which is a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, I, okay, if it says it's plus 80, it wins. But okay, you had 20 seconds, so you probably, anything could happen, <laughs> right? Any, anybody could win with, with 20 seconds. Well, how would it, um, okay, so how would having my queen there help? You can move your king towards and then block with the queen. The zig and the zag again. Yes, the classic double Z, <laughs> ZZ top. <laughs> All right. Nice. 
Yeah, that was a good game, except you both hung your rooks and such. <laughs> but other than the, the both the rooks hanging, that was not so bad. Mm-hmm. Um, you can maybe use the f5 square to escape, says Owen. Yeah, I mean, that's winning, though. With queen e6, that's easy to win. Mm -hmm. well, let me play. I can play another one. Why not? Let me switch to... Um, the old switcheroo, huh? Gotta do one it. One of my favorite Pokemon moves. Switcheroo. Let me see if I can... All right, hang on. Oh, yeah, AB Sequence wants to get in there. This... You know, I love this mouse, but it's... I feel like I have to... Uh, it's high maintenance. Yes. It's got a proprietary cord. That's the worst part, and is so, the proprietary cord. Yeah, so sometimes I go home, and I left my cord here at the chess center. Look, it's too bright now because we lost light out there. You want me to change it? Yeah, let's move it back a little. So then I have to I have to drive all the way up here to get the stinking cord, or, or I can't use my mouse. Or if I ask Ben to look for it, How's that? it's frustrating for him. Um, that's fine. I think that's fine. It's a little bright, but it's fine. I could turn this down. Um, yeah, maybe slightly. Yeah, that's good. That's better. Yeah, well, our lighting gets weird when the light outside fades. The camera. Yeah, I wish the behaves differently. We would just stay still. The sun, in <laughs> relative to us. Yeah. So I guess that, yeah. if we were in a real studio, we wouldn't have sun coming through. Mm -hmm. But we're not. I would be the only sun. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Wait. Okay, there it's working. Go. All right, let's go. Yeah, All right, ABC, ABC sequence. sequence. Mm. Sunset in Roswell's 801. Also, I'll get a whole one minute to enjoy it after work. <laughs> <laughs> um, this opening's for the birds. Yeah. This is a Peter Griffin's favorite opening. When will Ben be on stream? It's e streaming today, right? Yes. Um, I think, what day are we? I think it's 9 to 11. That's what Kangaroo says. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I like this setup for whites, but I usually play b3 on move one. That's how you do it. Uh-uh. I love when Ben analyzes Karen's games. That is fun. It is funny. You mean on the stream? Or on his stream? Right, a lot of times when you're playing in a tournament and he wins, he looks at your game. I know, sometimes it's embarrassing. You know. Why? Because I don't play very well. And then, well, and then that's you'll, true. <laughs> and then you'll, be, you'll hear him, oh. Oh, it's still suspicious. Like, mate, mate, mate in one, will she see it? Oh, <laughs> nope. Spencer, please share the story how Papa John's became a catchphrase. Well, it's very simple to understand. Papa John's is uh, their like tagline is better pizza. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. So my dad will say like, in this position, White has better pawn structure, a better king. Papa John's. That's why. That's why he says it like that. Is that Ben's son? Why don't you try X Clam Spencer? Try out that command. <laughs> <laughs> I like when commands are, you know, just about me. I also like the emote that's me. <laughs> <laughs> when I was preparing the flyer for the Anderson uh, lecture on Tuesday. Mm hmm. There is a, like a quote that I have in there. It's uh, attack, always attack from Anderson. And I think he liked, uh, well, I don't know if he said that in English, right? But if he did say that in English and, and knew English, I think he liked it because it's, it's all A's. And his name's Adolf Anderson. Oh, yeah, he probably did. Yeah, he probably likes the letter A. I like the letter S, mm. so I can, I can appreciate that. Hey, just a boxing cage. Anderson is by far my favorite Adolf. <laughs> um, I don't know why I went there. I'm just going to go back. I don't like that. That's fair. Yeah. There's no Always retreat. 
<sighs> Ulf is by far the better Anderson, or the best Anderson. What? That's crazy. Adolf Anderson was better than Ulf Anderson. Other than that, you're right. Did your dad teach you chess? He, uh, he taught me how to make legal moves. I was one year old when I when I learned how to, how to play chess. Do you know how Adolf Anderson got his speech impediment? Is this a joke? Or did he actually have a speech impediment? Because uh, I don't know. He got hit in the head with a Dolph ball. That wasn't too funny. <laughs> that wasn't too funny. Oh yeah, they do spell their last names differently. Anderson with an O as opposed to E. That's true. Well, but S E N is is Adolf's and, and Ulf's was S O N. So so I'd be sorry, that's not mm. that's not right. Darn, that bishop's horrible. Probably because you put all your pawns on dark squares. <laughs> I was, I didn't know what to do about the bishop situation. Blocked both bishops, I get it. Yeah. I've been there. Yeah. I like that move. <laughs> That's what I would have done. At least you're not going to get mated in the next five moves. <laughs> No way. Um, true. Well, might oh. be true. Uh oh. <laughs> Could be true. I have to see. Maybe I spoke too soon. I have to see. Um. <laughs> Never play f6, although that's the right move. <laughs> yes. In fact, your opponent should have played the last move. Karen didn't always play e takes f4. I don't think she had a chance to, because when she played e5, her opponent answered with uh, f5, not letting her do that. That was a mouse. That was a mouse <laughs> I know it. God damn. That's why I, I shouldn't mess with the. I mean, not that it's. Alright, you wrong. should pick up the piece when you know the move. I know. Just like in a chess game. I play with my mouse a lot. No, I mean, really won't know what to do about that situation. I guess I'll go here now. That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well make use of the mouse slip. Uh. Your rook on d6 is really safe. He'll never be attacked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holding down the fort. It's like Fort Knox. You know, except for one thing. <laughs> Karen's playing way too aggressively. <laughs> <laughs> That's somewhat true. <laughs> hey, new Meister. I know that rook sucks. I mean, what do you do? I'm trying to make him a little better. Just like that right. bishop. He's just chilling. All right. Uh, 
A B sequence is letting you get back in the game here, I guess, with the time situation. Tripled on the seventh. Mm -hmm. Really solid. Quadrupled on the seventh. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. I predict big things for that rook. It's already good now. Mm -hmm. Just took a couple little, you know, reconnoitering. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it took. I kind of like black here. <laughs> Honestly, I would take black. What? Okay, buddy, you have to play fast if you want to win now. Now I would really take black. Now anything can happen. Whoa. Didn't see that one coming. Uh -oh. That seems not good. Darn. What? He doesn't want to draw. He wants to win on time. I don't blame him. I'd win on time. Oh. No, he got you there. Oh, darn. Good hey, play at the how's end it going? by AB Sequence. <laughs> hey, that was good there, AB Sequence. Good play. Ooh, 110 viewers. Hey, I got a $100 donation. I saw. Oh. <laughs> I was there. I said $100, dudes. <laughs> That's true, he did. Oh, yeah, I did see that. F6, the does, does that dues. win? Because uh, he could do that. Yeah. Maybe rook b7 is okay. Yeah, or rook b7. Oh, yeah, darn. But, yeah, he wanted to win on time at least. Now, instead of f6, maybe queen f7 check. And f6. then f6. Although then rook b7. I mean, I had actually okay. pre moved too. I like to do that. The one time I pre moved mm -hmm. the whole game. <laughs> yeah, it was anyone's game, though, at the end when you both had 20 seconds. Yeah. Yeah, I enjoyed oh, that f6 game, maybe. Earlier, sequence. maybe. Never play f6. Oh, I know what you mean. You mean way earlier. Yes. That's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here, this move blunders. F6 wins now. Mm -hmm. Threatening mate. You have to play G6 only move, and then queen H6. Oh, yeah. And then you have to give up your rook. Rook takes, rook takes. Mm -hmm. So you, you had to play F6 yourself, but you're programmed not to because of your grandmaster husband. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know... I do. Yeah, I play F six. Okay I play F six a yeah, lot in the French, actually. But you're just looking for moves that aren't F six. <laughs> That's why. I do play F six a lot, but I. Yeah, because you play the French. Skeptical. Right. In the but, French, you got But I, I give it a skeptical eye, and I shouldn't have that time. <laughs> well, I should end the stream. When are you starting? Nine. Nine. Oh, okay. Well, I start early, but I have to prepare something. Oh, okay. So, Darn. I'll start what, like, what would be the earliest you would start? Whenever I'm done, I don't know. Like 12, I think. Mm. You know, when I start. That's rough. I think I'm going to have to go ahead and end, though. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to get a reading. Okay. Well, I just, if, if you said 10 minutes or 15, I can yeah. hang in there. All right. Well, Ben is maybe going to start early, but bare minimum, he'll start at 9. And he's preparing something, so it sounds nice. like... A lesson. His last uh, video that is on YouTube got like so many views. It was his Dutch video. Oh, okay. It got like tons of views. Yeah. Because people like to learn. Yeah, they do. Learning is fun. Mm -hmm. A wild Ben appeared. It's true. All right. Well, I'm going to have to throw you guys upon someone else, but please come back and see Ben at nine. Who do you think we should raid? Um,. Well, it's I don't slim, know any of these people. Slim pickings. Maybe a chess bra? Oh, I didn't even see. Oh, they're yeah. doing they're doing Shadow oh, Legends. Right, right. Shadow Legend. I don't even know what that is. Um But Hafu already has so many viewers. Yeah, I'm not gonna do Hafu. And so does Hess. Maybe he's giving her a lesson right Thank now. Thank you, Lady Buell. Um 
We got to pick somebody already. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so much for coming. I enjoyed the stream, and I hope you did as well. Okay, I got to pick somebody. Let me just look. I hate this goddamn mouse. I'm going to get... Yeah, more like non-chess bra. That's true, Mark. <laughs> what do you say? More like non-chess bra instead of chess bra. Oh. Um... Darn, nobody's streaming. I guess because uh, everybody, usually right after. Just don't even raid anyone for the first <laughs> time. I don't, I don't think you've ever not raided anyone. I, I feel like I should raid. Okay, we're going to raid Hess. All right. I've never raided Hess. Why not? I mean, he's got 2.4 thousand, and, but you know. You can't spell chess without Hess. Um, That's true. i got to raid Hess. All right, raid GM Hess. All right, guys, thank you again so much. Are you doing this part? Yes. See ya. Bye.